Good afternoon. Um, I promised my mom that the first time I was speaking to a large audience, I'd mention her. So this, <laughs> this is for you, mom. Uh, she's in Prague right now in the Czech Republic. Uh, my mom, that's where I'm from as well. Um, they say we have the best beer in the world. And uh, we also have some magnificent architecture and, and a lot of history. And uh, we coined the word robot, if you didn't know. Uh, that's a piece of trivia. And uh, we also have some pretty good schools. The Charles University in Prague was founded in 1348, so more than 400 years before Dartmouth. <laughs> what we don't have, though, is Dartmouth. Uh, many of my high school friends go to the Charles University and other schools back home. And uh, what they do is they go to lectures, where there are some 500 people in the room. They take notes, listen, go back home, study, take exams every five months or so. And that's it. That's their college experience right there. No campus, no advising, no clubs, athletics. Basically, anything, all they can do, all extra they can do is independent research, completely independently. Um, when I first came to Dartmouth in September, it was after a 20-hour trip, um, six-hour time change, several desperate uses of uh, coach, airports, and airplane bathrooms. So. What I needed, really desperately, was a bed and a shower. What I got was a swimming pool to take my swim test in, <laughs> and a sleeping bag to spend my first night at Dartmouth, along with some 200 of my new classmates in a field house. <laughs> so right then, I knew this was going to be different. I knew everything was possible in here. So why did I come to Dartmouth in the first place, though? Um, who would have guessed TED Talks played their role? As a naive high school junior, when I saw my first TED Talk, uh, I was amazed because it was an academic lecture. And really, for the first time in my life, it was fun to watch. So <laughs> right then, I decided that I was going to go to the US to, to college here. And, and every lecture was going to be like that. I was going to enjoy every, every, single, every single class. Uh, might well, sound funny, but it turns out um, it's, it's kind of true. But um, now let's go back to my mom back home for a moment. Because when I told you at the beginning that she wanted me to mention her, I was not being completely honest. In fact, uh, she doesn't still completely understand what TEDx is. And uh, she never stopped calling it TDx. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> she will probably um, not even be able to watch any of these talks because she doesn't even speak English that well. Uh, my parents had me when they were 21, and that was the normal thing to do in uh, socialist Czechoslovakia. But this is not a story about me or my family. This is a story for all of you in this room, for all of us, for everyone in the world who is fortunate enough and able to have dreams and to achieve them. My parents, just like most people on this planet, probably had to be very modest about their dreams. We here, we don't. If anywhere in the world, this is a place to have real big dreams, and go pursue them. My dream was to start TEDx at Dartmouth and, and share my, my dream of going to college in the US and, and having fun in class. And um, I urge all of you to have dreams, real huge dreams, and, and go after them. And if along the way you can help someone achieve their dreams, then that's perfect. Then you've achieved a lot. So welcome to TEDx Dartmouth. Uh, I would like to thank this amazing group of people who, who helped realize um, this event. So um, please give them a round of applause because these people made it happen.